And now I invite Trevor to share with us where more information is available. And now, <laughs> the floor is yours. So uh, 
you'll see that there's a big elephant, uh, an, an element of uh, learning, knowledge sharing, collaboration and so on, which uh, again we see absolutely key. We're very much uh, an outward reach in the city being, being small, and I'll come on to this later, um, you sometimes lack the knowledge, experience, expertise. We don't have a university in our city, for instance, uh, which uh, is uh, quite a, a problem when you're looking for research and development uh, and um, raising the skills level around certain topics uh, within the city. Um, we've done uh, a number of projects which continue to this date uh, around uh, data, around digital infrastructure, around uh, Internet of Things, uh, around skills uh, and so on. We developed with BSI a leadership program which we've taken out to, amongst other places, India, uh, which helps cities uh, develop uh, the way in which they become smarter based on the standards uh, that I mentioned earlier. But I thought for today um, I'd talk about our circular city uh, ambition because it brings together many of the sustainable development goals that uh, speakers have referred to uh, already. More and more uh, people are using the term smart in conjunction with the term resilient and sustainable. Can you be a smart city without being a sustainable city? My view would be no. Um, being a smart city should, in theory at least, make you a more resilient city. And we saw circular cities, uh, something, uh, an initiative that moves from the very wasteful uh, linear consumption model of society to a more circular model with the redesign, uh, reuse, remanufacture, recycle and so on. We felt that that drew together those elements of uh, smart, resilient um, and, uh, and sustainable uh, in a very coherent way. So we developed something called our um, Circular Peterborough uh, initiative at the city scale. A circular economy is something that's understood quite well at organisational level. It's something that businesses might argue they've been doing for years. It isn't always called circular. Uh, it can be around resource efficiency or, or effective waste management. But it is actually something different. And while we're approaching it at the city scale, I'll put out some of the reasons here. Um, the global challenge, uh, as we've heard from Francesco, is absolutely huge. Um, and we need urgent solutions. We have 12 years um, to, to tackle climate change, uh, for instance, according to that uh, earlier report, recent report that's been referred to. To do that, and many things within smart cities um, require behaviour change, whether that's behaviour change at a government level, behaviour change at an individual level, at an organisational level, business leaders, it all comes back to the way people think and behave about uh, their lives and the world around them. And for us to tackle some of those challenges, that behaviour change has to happen quickly uh, and en masse. And so we thought that through uh, city leadership around developing a circular economy in this instance, uh, that we could set the context and the enabling conditions um, for making that happen. Um, like a lot of our initiatives, uh, it is about uh, knowledge sharing, co-creation and collaboration with organisations across the city. Uh, we have uh, 65, uh, 65, 70 uh, organisations signed up to a circular um, city commitment for, uh, for Peterborough uh, and we've developed a number of initiatives. The diagram on the right shows our seminars, um, I won't read them all out, but read them for yourselves. But those are the seminars we've adopted as part of the, the circular economy approach. And on the left are some of the elements of that, uh, the commitment I've mentioned earlier. Uh, we have a shared Peterborough platform, I'll show you a bit in a moment, um, and a uh, champion scheme uh, relevant to the different uh, industrial and commercial sectors in the city, uh, and a number of collaborative projects um, at, the, at the early stages. This is a screenshot from uh, a platform we developed and launched um, last year um, called Share Peterborough. Uh, and again, to build in this, uh, this idea, this philosophy of people sharing, organisation sharing, we've developed a platform where you can register and put on there something that you have and no longer need. Um, it could be an office, it could be a vehicle that you only use for part of the time. We've heard some 
good examples about the wastage on transport. Um, it could be around skills and ability or, or an expertise you have as an organisation which you're willing to share uh, with another. And it can be very simple things that you've refurbished your office and you have chairs and tables which other people might find are useful. So through a registration system you can upload that onto the shared piece of a website. And something we've introduced recently really is a way of showing people the value of doing that is to put some fairly crude at this stage, but we are getting better at it, fairly crude measures around each transaction uh, and you'll see some of the parameters there. So we can aggregate those and show that through this being used 300 times it has saved X tons of carbon um, and, and so on. So it really brings together the benefits of working collaboratively, sharing uh, uh, more, more uh, efficiently uh, and the knock-on impacts that that has uh, at an individual and at a city uh, level. One of the big challenges we've had with developing the initiative uh, and the same would go for, for being a smart city if you live at this upper level is how you measure how circular a city is. And that's something we still struggle with. We're looking at various composite models. We can't find anyone uh, anywhere that's managed to do this in, a, in a, a replicable way. One idea we've had and we, we've tested uh, locally is the idea of a maturity model. So it's more of a qualitative uh, measure. If you like a series of statements uh, and a feel from the participants, say in the workshop, such as the one today, as to where the city is on that journey uh, to be uh, a circular city. So we're looking at combining that with, with performance indicators to see if we can get uh, a better model. So that's the aim and uh, vision, if you like, of our smart city uh, circular economy uh, focus uh, initiative at the moment. Everything from uh, competitive and resilient uh, economy through to uh, building collaborations to progress the city's ambitions even further. I'm just going to change tack slightly now. We heard from uh, Judith uh, earlier about the uh, European Investment Partnership and I just wanted to talk through one of the um, small initiatives, I say small because it's still developing, um, but is very much in the context of the theme of today's uh, conference and that's the Small Giants uh, Initiative which um, we're leading on as a, as a city uh, in, uh, in Peterborough. That's basically the vision of the small giants and be interested to speak to uh, any cities here that, that feel they want to be part of this. But it's about uh, galvanising, if you like, the power of small to medium-sized cities for collaboration around uh, challenges for mutual benefit and so on to accelerate uh, the pace of change uh, in, our, in our cities. We saw a, a different uh, diagram Francesco's presentation, but this shows that there are actually many more small to medium sized cities uh, across the world than there are um, large cities. And as I mentioned earlier, small cities, just by definition of their size uh, and sometimes their location, um, often lack the necessary expertise, the necessary power uh, to innovate in the way that large cities uh, do. And they're often not in receipt of the large funding bids which tend to go to the safer bets, if you like, the large, uh, the large cities, like in our case, the UK, London, Manchester, and so on. Um, we've tried to define in various workshops what a smart city is. We're not precious about the size of the city because we actually feel that the giant bit is more about ambition and the willingness to collaborate, the desire to collaborate, to share knowledge, to share experience around uh, common themes. Um, so we will take, um, or we will obviously discuss with, with any city, even if you've got uh, 2,001 uh, population. So, um, and we believe it's important because uh, it builds that market scale, it builds the impact, the aggregation of demand, if you like, the de-risking of uh, procurement for some large companies. Um, it builds capacity uh, around knowledge, experience, and so on and can develop common replicable solutions which can be used by other cities to address uh, their challenge in the future. Uh, and it also raises the profile of the often unsung heroes, if you like, of small cities who do a great deal of, of, of 
work in this and other fields, but often uh, get missed off the list. Um, back in uh, Sofia, actually, in June of this year, um, we had a workshop here which started to identify some of the challenges uh, that cities might consider working uh, together on. This obviously needs testing with a wider audience, um, but you can see there some of the thoughts from the cities represented. represented. We put Circular City on there because we thought that was uh, important, but there are a lot of cities interested uh, in that. Um, so again, a whole host of things, I'm sure there are many others, where small to medium sized cities could collaborate, work together, uh, procure jointly, uh, if that's appropriate. Um, so the action plan, um, very um, short term at the moment, is to identify a lead city. For the time being, that's, uh, that's Peterborough. Uh, we're identifying uh, a small number of other cities to act as a call. Um, the, we've identified that the city needs, but we want to build on those and grow um, the cluster of cities by looking at existing partnership arrangements. We want to develop the small giants uh, term, the initiative, as a, as a smart brand and develop traditional websites and so on for the exchange of knowledge uh, and information, promoting it through events. Uh, and we have a, a conference, an international conference, uh, we've organised in Peterborough earlier in 2019, uh, where again we hope to, to uh, drum up support. And one approach we've talked about, we've called the Hub and Spoke um, approach, is to um, have a lead city in countries that want to take part in, in, uh, in the initiative, coordinating groups of small cities within their area. These might be groups of cities that already exist for, for related purposes, so it doesn't have to be uh, established just for this purpose. And for those coordinators to form the core linkage of, of small giants uh, to take it forward. That's all I wanted to say uh, today, so thank you again very much for the invitation. I look forward to the uh,